Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is episode 18 of Life, the Universe, and Everything, the series where I do everything I want in No Man's Sky, concentrating on the new synthesis update features. First thing we're going to do is go debrief, brief, bleh, debrief my freighter missions that I sent off a while back. They should all be done now. Get some money from that, which I'll need to continue upgrading my ships. Right now, this ship, my dream ship, is maxed out for A class. So I'm going to start upgrading some of my other ships. And then when I have 50,000 nanites, I'll upgrade this one to S class and then totally max out its inventory size. So. Go get the stuff from this. I gotta make sure my freighter has <clears throat> room in it to receive stuff. It might be okay. We might have enough room for one mission's rewards. And then we can. Oh no! Were two of my frigates damaged? Uh oh. Collected hot ice. Got units. DSE 9 Salmatan continued with the mission despite heavy damage. Uh oh. Hope none of them were destroyed. Collected semiconductor. Continued the mission despite heavy damage. Okay, good. None of them were destroyed. They're just damaged. So I'm going to have frigates I need to go repair before I do the next missions. Let's go debrief the others. Okay, good. None are damaged on this one. Units, 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 dirty bronze, geodesite, cool. I think I can do one more mission without running out of space. Superconductor. Units, units, and that's it. Ooh, rare item, nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some stuff just to make sure I don't run out of room. Storage augmentation. Oh yeah, I have one left from last time. Okay, then we need to switch to freighter inventory.
Cool. All right, two more missions to debrief. Units, units, sack venom. <laughs> I could have used that for the weekly mission. Tetra cobalt, gravitino ball, units, 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 a lot of units. Indium, geodesite, activated indium, gravitino ball. Wow, it's a good thing I cleared out my inventory. I would have run out of space. That was a lot in that one. Whoa, yeah, I would have definitely run out of space. Good thing I was careful to clear some out. Last mission. Oh, I did get an item in my suit inventory I'll have to sell. Neural duct, units, iridescite. Okay, I really think that these are supposed to give nanites, but they give units. They give like 200 some units. That's like nothing. But it says discovery data. Data should be nanites, not units. So I think they messed it up and they still haven't fixed that after all this time so that these also give nanites instead of units. Oh well. And sell these. and freighter. Nice. Made about 10 million off all that. No, 20 million. I was at like 50 million at the start of this. So now I'm at 72 million. So I made about 20 million off all those missions. Very nice. But now we need to go fix the frigates. I'm going to test if I, I have, I've yet to test if I can transfer things out of my freighter when I'm not in my freighter. I'm going to test if you can do that because I'm pretty sure the frigates will require platinum, gold, and or silver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the ship. I'm going to start upgrading. <clears throat> but, um, my my platinum, gold, and silver are in my freighter, so if I go to the frigate to repair it and I need those things, we'll see if I can transfer them directly from the freighter without being in the freighter. Hopefully, otherwise that new tech I installed was useless. Uh-oh, where's the broken ones? Uh-oh, is this a new bug? Used to be damaged frigates would have an icon on them to let you know that they're damaged, but I don't see anything. Oh, oh no. How, how the heck am I supposed to figure out which one? I'm going to have to land on every single one to figure out which is damaged. I'm trying to use my scanner. That doesn't do anything. Well, this is stupid. I guess I gotta land on every single frigate and figure out which one is damaged. Uh, I'm gonna report this bug. It used to be they would have... Well, you know what? I can narrow it down by checking which class of frigate is damaged. So at least I'll only land on the type, the right types of frigates.
but that's pretty messed up. They forgot that. that they messed that up. Unless they actually did get destroyed, which would be horrible. Hopefully they didn't. It just said they took heavy damage. It didn't just say they were destroyed. So, let's see. There we go. Merchant Trade Specialist. Okay. Okay, both of the ones that were damaged are trade specialists. I know what trade looks like, so we'll just check all my trade <coughs> frigates, and that'll be easy. But man, they really need to fix it so that you can have an icon to the damaged one again. <coughs> All right, this is a trade one. Oop. Where'd it go? Oh, maybe. Oh, I off shot it a lot, apparently. <clears throat> what the? Where's the landing pad? I thought they were back here. Am I on the wrong side? Oh my gosh. I'm having a lot of trouble navigating space. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Whoa. Um. I can't seem to land on it. Don't tell me that's bugged too. Ah oh, no. What? Landing sequence unavailable. Why? Can I land on any of them? Is it because there's a bounty nearby? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be letting me land. Ugh, now I'm gonna kill myself crashing into it. Okay, I'm gonna try killing the bounty. Maybe that's preventing me from landing. Oh no. Oh no, not on this ship. I don't even know what level of bounty that is. Uh... Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> I gotta switch to my exotic to take him out.
Oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> I can't turn towards him. Staying out of my range. I've never had them do that successfully before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this guy is too fast or something? I can't turn towards him. Oh my gosh, he's gonna... I guess I gotta use my booster to get turned around at him. This is nuts. This guy's really fast. And he was a hauler. Haulers aren't supposed to be that fast. Wow, that's interesting. The AI has been designed to try to get behind you so that you can't shoot them. But, I wonder if I can't land on my frigates because there's another fleet nearby. I'm going to try recalling them over here. Okay, I sure hope I can land on them. Okay, there's a trade. Okay, good. Ah, nice. Now they're now they're now they're marked. So I know this one is damaged. Traveler entity, we wish to serve, but our vessel is fallible metal, a temporary shell. It assist us in repairing it and prolonging this iteration. Fleet auto diagnostics report. Urgent maintenance required. Repair drones. Reaching failure threshold. Core systems at risk. Manual repair required. Cool. All right, good. Now, now it was marked. That's good. Maybe, maybe it was because of the bounty that icons weren't showing up, or maybe I needed to recall my freighter for it to reload. I don't know. What do we got? Oh, cool. So the gold is available to me. I don't have gold in my inventory, I'm pretty sure. It's in my freighter, but it's available to me. Awesome. All right. It's been a long time since I repaired frigates. I always enjoyed it, but it was so rare. Once your frigates get strong enough, they never get damaged. So you don't get to do it much anymore. Fun. I like those animations when you repair them. Engine core. Yeah, it's so cool. Yay. We did it. Fix that one. Now I gotta find the other broken one. Then I'm gonna need to get more fuel for another frigate mission. Let's see. Um, dang, I really wish it would show me exactly where it is. Okay, there is a bunch of trade ones here. Probably one of these. It's not showing me an icon there. Or here. Uh. It's going to be really hard to tell which ones I've checked and which one's not. I think I just checked this one. Let's try that one over there. I think this is the one I just fixed. Uh, really wish... Ah, here we go. This was the broken one. Are you serious? That stupid bounty appeared. 
It was the bounty that was preventing me from landing. Ah! Now I'm gonna have to find the broken one again. Stupid bounties. Where is it? Ah, uh, doing the thing again. Trying to get behind me. Ah, uh, so fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is annoying. Can't. Ah, uh, stop circling me. Stupid thing. Ah, oh. I'm gonna try moving again. Maybe I'll confuse it. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get back. Find the broken freighter again. Alright. Oh, no idea which one it was. Um, I think it was this one, actually. Yep, yeah, that's the one. You can't see the icon until you're really close now. I don't like that. Traveler Entity. Sensors indicate internal damage. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Is that all? I thought it did like a, a music thing when you repaired them all. There's no more icons. Hope it's not bugged again. We've had a bug before where like one of the things that's damaged would stay damaged. And there was no way to repair it. Uh, I hope that's not the case again. Guess we'll see. Still display is damaged. No, doesn't have any icon. Hopefully it's fixed. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to space station. I gotta get more stuff for making frigate fuel. So we can send them out on another mission. Hi who's
No, I don't see any tritium or dihydrogen. Yay, dihydrogen. And they've slightly improved this. You can go a little bit faster with the directional pad, but still takes a long time to buy all. Ah, oh, you can go backwards now. Awesome. Never mind. All you got to do is go backwards and you automatically buy it all. Sweet. So we'll do that. Yay. There we go. Now we got what we need to make frigate fuel. I need to go change starships too. Whoops. I'm going to start upgrading my explorer. Frigate again. Fr freighter. Hi, Santo. I'm doing good. I'm very far in this series. Working on upgrading my ships with the new synthesis ship customization system. I'm going to start upgrading my TIE Fighter Explorer here. Once it's fully upgraded it'll be what I warp to different stars with. And okay let's go make frigate fuel. I'll use my large, <laughs> my large Hadron Glider, I mean my large uh, refiner to make it go quickly. Good thing it goes really fast. But I mean, the stuff you make in a refiner, refiner, it's almost like these things are particle accelerators. Because, like, tritium and deuterium are... I can't remember. They're, they're special stellar materials that exist in real life. There. Now, that looks way better than the smaller one. When was that added? Um, it's been around since the next update. We've always had the large refiner and medium refiner. You have to, well, like Alltech is now unlocked in the Nexus. There's, there's some other ways to get it for free. I think from like either the base building quests or the base computer archives which I still need to finish the base computer archives I, I 
completely forgot about that <laughs> mission series. I need to do that. I'll do that later. But um, yeah, you, you can you can buy the medium refiner and large refiner in the Nexus in the Space Anomaly. Uh, but yeah, you can also get them for free from other quests if you don't want to pay nanites for them. Um, okay, let's craft all the frigate fuel we can. Right? Uh, yeah. There we go. That should be plenty. Actually, you know what? I want to use up the ones that are not 50 tons first. I'm going to put these in my exosuit. Because they... I'm pretty sure the ones in your freighter get used first. I want to use up these ones that are not 50 tons so that everything I have will stack. Okay, someone stole my No Man's Sky. So yeah, I'm behind. Stole it? Like stole the disc? That's no good. Uh, okay. Yep, and my VR controllers. Oh no. That's terrible. Somebody stole your stuff. All right. Voyage of Discovery. Um. Make sure we use the lowest level ones first. Uh, here we go, exploration. I'm just gonna use one support. So I don't run out completely. Good, I have enough fuel. Oh, I didn't check the difficulty rating. Ugh, I hope we had a high enough rating. Darn it. Uh, I need to check. How can I check the mission? Can I check stats? I, I think it was, I think we had three star fleet rating. Okay, good. Fleet rating is four. That's plenty. In the room? In the room what? Yeah, that's where you check. Cool. Oh, oh, you were telling me what to do. I thought you were still referring to your <coughs> VR controllers being stolen. All right. Okay, combat. Oh no, there's another voyage of discovery. We'll figure that one out last. Oh wait. Lowest rating ones first. And a support. Yeah, fleet ratings four, that's plenty. Hopefully it used up the ones in here. Dang it. How do I get it to use up these first? Grr. 
Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the ones in the exosuit get used first. Let's try putting these in my exosuit. Maybe they'll get used up. I'll do the Voyage of Discovery last. All right, Trade Expedition. Okay. Trade, 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 support, yep, that'll be good. Uh, however they made it calculate which ones to use first, it always uses the 50 ones up first, which is stupid. Balanced Expedition. I'll send my industrial and high level or uh, combat to help. Yep, that should do it. Am I going to have enough left? I guess so. Alright, unfortunately I used up all but one of my exploration. So, okay good. I have a high rating exploration. We'll send the rest of the support. Some other high level stuff. Okay, good, that should do it. Uh, I, might just, I might just drop these 200 and 100 ton ones because they're always gonna get left. I only want 50 ton ones so that they stack. I want to take up extra space. All right, we sent off the frigates. Now for um, upgrading my ship. Nice, I can see the wings in non-VR too. Man, there's so many bounties in the star system. today is to upgrade my Explorer as much as I can and hopefully get to 50,000 nanites to rank up my dream ship. I will only play No Man's Sky in VR now, can no longer do regular view. I wanted to only play in VR but unfortunately I noticed in my last episode of this series that I did VR my resolution was incredibly low like you could you couldn't even see words and stuff so I think I'm going to have to do the 
rest of this series in non-VR until they improve the resolution for VR somehow. I can see it okay, but when I live stream it, the video quality is so low that it's just horrible. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade with the one thingy I have. Hi, real life Junzi. Hey, Junzi. Good to see you. Nice head, thanks. Alright. Uh, like last time, I'm going to do technology first. Just because I'm weird like that. Oh, figure. As soon as I'm done, all the ships flew away. Gotta wait for them to fly in again. That's pretty neat how there's a, like, 2D image of my ship. Like, how did they do that? The ships are procedurally generated. How did they get, like, a 2D image of it like that? Yep, this is the new head. I just did the, a video of it on my YouTube channel of buying it and putting it on. I call it the sh cyborg shark head. There's head options where you can make the teeth visible all the time, which is cool. Uh, that one's too cheap. Here, I'll go ahead and show you really quick while we're waiting. Yeah, these two head options have the teeth always visible but I prefer this one. Wait. Oh! Yeah, I want to go ahead and save. Save this one here. There we go. Okay. Alright, that's a good price. like street sharks but it's space sharks I forgot about street sharks there were so many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle copies I forgot about street sharks I remember extreme dinosaurs that was I think one of the better Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle copies and then there was kangaroos from Mars that show was horrible <laughs> That was one of the worst T T N M T copies. It's like like kangaroo something or other from Mars. I don't even I don't even remember watching Street Sharks. I think I just heard of it, but oops, wrong thing. But I don't remember watching it. Are you trying to make storage augments? Yeah, yeah. Th I've been doing this. Uh, since yesterday, buying ships and scrapping them to get the uh, storage augments. I maxed out my A rank fighter that I'm trying calling my dreams. Ooh, see, I just got two from that one. Very nice. I think because that was an A rank ship, so I got two storage augmentations. Awesome. This is a lot of fun. It's, I've been saying this is a lot like loot boxes, except you can't spend real money on them. You buy a ship and scrap it, and the loot you get is like getting stuff out of a loot box. Um, yeah, it was. Are you talking about street sharks or something else? Let me go ahead and apply the augment to this.
See, you got that cool 2D image of my ship. I wonder how they do that. How do they make all these 2D images for infinite procedurally generated ships? I don't know. I'll pay you whatever price for one augment. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> As you can see, it's super easy to do this. Just, just if you have money, buy ships and deconstruct them, and you'll get the augments. You don't need to pay me for them. Um, yeah. I only buy them if they're between one and three million, or one and four million. Lower, less than four million. Um, what did we get? One augment, nice. Yeah, this works really, really well. You don't always get an augment, but it's like a one in four chance. I already have six s class starships not destroying. Well, why do you want... Oh, your inventory's full. Dang, that's why. Um, I think somebody said you can get the augments from the Nexus missions, but I haven't s confirmed that yet. But it might be worth it to scrap one of your S ranks to get them all upgraded this way. Because it's super easy to buy these ships and scrap them and get the augments. And, you sh and you'll get a bunch of augments from an S rank ship too. But that's up to you. I don't buy them if they're under a million, because ones that are under a million usually don't have a very good chance to do stuff. I haven't seen yet. You haven't seen what yet? Ooh, this is an A rank. Nice. A ranks have a good chance of... I have two ship slots, so I can buy up to two ships at a time to scrap. Negative. Spent hundreds of hours. Yeah, well, it's just gonna make it really hard for you to upgrade them. You might have to just pay for the upgrades then, which costs way, way more. It's much cheaper to do it this way. Scrapping ships to get augments. But, if if no man's if hello games would introduce a real uh nice i got i think i got two from that one uh if they would introduce a real uh player economy make it so that you had like a trade menu for interacting with other players so that you could trade at the same time i would trade items but the way it is currently, you have to trust someone. One of the two people has to trust the other by handing over them. Well, actually, you can't give people money. You'd have to trade me items worth money. Um, but, um, yeah, one of the two people trading would have to trust the other by sending their item first, and then the other person would have to be honest and send the other item after. So, get any from that one? No, didn't from that one. But I've got three augments to use. Go ahead and use them. Oh wow, that is sketchy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way to trade. Only way you can give items to another player is to give an item to another player. You can't trade. You can't enter a menu where you both uh, put up what you want. Uh, I'm not selling right now. 
Um, you could you could find someone else that is willing to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've done that a couple times where I almost... I, in fact, I did scrap my ship twice yesterday. I had to reload a save. There we go. I'm going to sell the nanite stuff. You make a lot of nanites doing this too. You can use the nanites for upgrading the class of ships. What do we got? Eh, that's under a million. Not worth the effort, I don't think. Nope. The star system is at war, but all I ever get is bounties. I don't get attacked by pirates. That's too expensive. PS needs character bar in game? Chat bar, yeah, I agree. And in fact, they took away our voice chat. There's no voice chat now. There used to be voice chat, but now there isn't. So... That's messed up. Why did they just take away our voice chat and not tell us why or anything? I don't get it. I mean, obviously you can invite people to a party on PlayStation. I guess that's why. They just expect you to use parties on PlayStation now instead of having the in-game chat, which is really stupid because then you, I don't know, whatever. It was pretty mean of them to just take away the voice chat for no reason, but oh well. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Here we go. These two should be good. Oh, nothing that time. The good thing is you get most of your money back from buying ships. So go you 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 run low on money really slowly. because you're getting most of it back. No, nope. nothing from those. Pure Entity? This guy's name is Pure Entity? That's funny. <laughs> the ship is called Nodawat of Madness. There's another.
Darn. Going through a dry spell now. Yeah, ship quality doesn't matter, so C class worth 500k can still give augment. Okay, maybe I will start buying the cheaper ones then. But it seems like they have a lot, um, a lot lower chance of giving them. But maybe I should try them again. I know higher class ships definitely have a higher chance. In fact, they'll give multiple a lot of the time. Yeah, that one gave one. But I scrapped a S one S rank last time, and I it gave two augments, I think. But somebody told me they got three augments from an S rank one time. You guys should go ahead and sell some of the money items. You definitely can't make a profit doing this, but you can recoup most of your money. And you get the augments, so... It's good. Basically, the money that you lose is converted into nanites. Well, you also just lose some money, because it says the scrap is worth less than what you bought it for. Probably wouldn't hurt too much to buy a lot more expensive ones, but it still makes me think that I'd be losing more money. Okay, I'm gonna put this augment on. Oh, wait. Are these good? Alright, I'll try this 400,000 unit one, but I'm guessing it probably won't give an augment. I did this for a couple hours in survival. My survival and permadeath are all set. Normally already had, normal already had six S starships. Yeah. That's too bad that you can't get rid of one of your ships. Nope, that didn't give an augment because I already had one. Yeah, the really cheap ones like that. Oh, yeah, I'm already on my ship. I can go ahead and augment it. The really cheap ones never seem to give them. I mean, I know there's probably a chance, but... It's just so low, I don't bother wasting time on less than a million ones. Just a chance. I think Infinite Death said he got three augments from one ship. But what, what class of ship, though? Was it a really cheap ship? There's definitely higher chances on better ships. Ooh, nice. This one's A rank.
I like to go for the mid-range ones between 1 and 4 million. Yep, got one from that one. And I need to switch to the other one. I may try a hard save and reload to test out on S-Class Scrap. Okay. Sweet, I got two from that one. That was an A rank. So yeah, higher ranking ships. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I probably should save before I do anything. Higher ranking ships definitely have a higher chance. I usually get like two from uh, A rank ones. Okay, I'm gonna apply these. I'm I'm I think I'm done with upgrading technology for A rank already as of now. There, that's the max for A rank technology. Then I gotta do the rest of the inventory size. All right, I'm gonna do an outro. The live stream isn't over, but I, I'm gonna do an outro for the future YouTube video. Um, we, I got my frigates repaired and sent off on another mission and I start upgrading my uh, Explorer and I have 30,000 nanites now so we're 20,000 away from upgrading my dream ship to S class uh, but I am Ben Mac thank you for joining me for a day and remember everything is going to be okay